What's up, Space Pirates? This is your captain, the certifiably suave Dr. Disaster, and the media are so desperate to make the Acolyte look successful that their confusing narrative will make your head spin. <laughs> this article from Superhero Hype is a prime example of what I'm talking about. Star Wars The Acolyte premiere sets new Disney Plus record. Oh, that sounds really impressive. They're making it sound like The Acolyte is a wild success. The Acolyte's two episode premiere received 4.8 million views during its first day of streaming. This was enough for The Acolyte to become Disney Plus's most viewed series premiere of 2024, based on first day totals. I will repeat the important part of 2024. This is not a win for The Acolyte. This is an admission of a major loss for Disney Plus. That's not true. That's impossible. Set your feelings. You know it to be true. No! Make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and also, don't forget to follow me over on Twitter, where my handle is DrDisaster1. Now, you probably remember that several days ago, the media was doing victory laps on behalf of Disney and Leslie Headland when it was revealed that there were 4.8 million views for Star Wars The Acolyte on Disney Plus in its first day. I'm so happy for you. They were celebrating that it was ahead of Ahsoka after its first day, but views on this piece of shit have dropped off. And now, after five days, the Acolyte has fallen behind Ahsoka, which was a massive failure. So when this article from Variety tries to spin things in a positive light, you will know they are full of crap. Down here, the article says, The new Star Wars series launched on June 4th with two episodes, generating 4.8 million views in its first day on the streamer. That makes it the biggest series premiere on Disney Plus this year. I don't care. Nobody cares. The fact that this turd of a show is the best thing you got in 2024 is an admission that Disney Plus is getting its ass kicked this year. I mean, think about it. What is its competition? Echo? That show sucked. Nobody watched that. But here's some more context. The article continues, the tally rose to 11.1 .1 million views globally after five days of streaming, maintaining the Acolyte status as the biggest 2024 series premiere on the platform. Disney Plus doesn't generally release viewership data for series after just one day of streaming. In August, the streamer said that Ahsoka drew 14 million views in its first five days. So, that means that The Acolyte is nearly 3 million views behind Ahsoka, which ain't good. This old article from The Direct, which was written last year when Ahsoka was first coming out, lays out the details as to why this is the case. The article says, Newly revealed data suggests that Ahsoka saw weaker viewership data compared to previous Star Wars Disney Plus projects. And then down here it says, viewership data from Samba TV revealed that 1.2 million households watched Ahsoka over the course of its first six days on Disney+. Plus. For full context here, there are around 54 million subscribers to Disney Plus in the United States, which means that around 2% of the subscribers actually watched Ahsoka. And if the Acolyte did worse than that, well... Well, that's f***ing... Not good. Comparatively, The Book of Boba Fett had 1.9 million viewers in its first six days, 
Obi-Wan Kenobi mustered up 2.14 million in its first four days. As for The Mandalorian, the flagship show pulled in 2.08 million people in the first four days of its season two premiere, while season three only got 1.6 million within that same time frame. So what we see here is a general downward trajectory of viewership, which eventually resulted in Ahsoka, what might be the previously worst rated Disney Star Wars show. I say it might be because, as the article here says, oddly enough, Samba TV did not cover Andor, so there aren't concrete numbers to pit directly against Ahsoka. That said, the original tweet revealing these new stats did mention that the viewership is similar to Andor's premiere season. So, it's possible Andor was the lowest rated show, but either way, Ahsoka and Andor had similar views, and the Acolyte is 3 million views behind Ahsoka, which tells us that the downward trend on viewership is continuing. Love me! I did. But I'm going to leave it there. Star Wars is dead. It's just a zombified version of its former self running amok, and Episode 3 of The Acolyte is set to come out and ruin the franchise even more. But drop your thoughts on all of this in the comment section down below, and we will talk there. Thanks for watching, me hearties. If you haven't already, your captain is inviting you to subscribe to the channel and become a part of the crew. Life as a space pirate may not be glamorous, but there's always plenty of booty.